What's going on, everybody? I'm Jeremy. You guys are watching Morphles Morris. It's going to be a little bit of a different style of video today. I'm going to show you how I am the receptacle king. And this is all thanks to Adam at Proper Royals for wanting to have a, like an electrical layout video. So, Adam, this video is solely mainly for you, brother, because here is the whole layout for my entire snake room at the moment. Uh, we'll start with the uh, sub panel and tell you all about how everything runs to there and from there. And we'll get into this video. So before we do, though, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, if you thought it was helpful, if it inspired you to add more receptacles to your snake room. So let's get into it. All right. So let's start from where the service to the sub panel comes from that there goes out to the garage which then goes to our 200 amp service goes right there runs up it's actually up and above there you can see a little bit of it there and then it comes through here to our 100 amp service sub panel now these two are spares this is to my septic system, so ignore that one. This right here, though, is what the snake room is run off of at the moment. It's going to be expanding, so I'll probably just let it the way it is. But I might add, you know, just to run like half walls and stuff, just so that way I don't overload anything, which I don't know if I could, but I got the space, so why not? So as you can see, wall three, four, two, one. Lights are on their own, 20 amp service, which is massively overkill. Uh, since they're LEDs, at least I think it's massively overkill. So everything runs up out and into the snake room. So let's go in there and check it out. Now I also want to mention that all the wiring is 12-2 wiring. All right, so we're back in the snake room now. I said, I apologize for this type of filming. I know it's a little bit different than usual. Maybe you guys will actually like this style. Who knows? There's the, uh, look, look at that new sticker. Look at that awesome sticker. Let me try to get out of the light and try to. That new sticker is awesome. Anyway, all right, so. Getting more stickers onto the sticker door there. Getting some more stickers onto the uh, incubator. So, all right, let's get into this. So, sorry about the slight distraction. So, and you're probably thinking, why do I have each wall on its own breaker? And I'll be honest with you. The main reason is if something goofy, for whatever reason, a breaker goes, you know, it gets flipped. It's only one wall that's going down. It's not going to be the whole snake room or it's not going to be two walls. You know, it kind of isolates where the issue is. So I thought it was kind of smart on that. You know, uh, if for whatever reason, wall one goes down, I know, okay, there's an issue with wall one. If wall two gets, you know, if the breaker goes on that, I know there's an issue there. It helps me, you know, localize where the problem is because if nothing else is getting tripped but that wall, that means that the issue is somewhere on that wall and or what's plugged into that wall. So hopefully, you know, my whole method of my madness and my theory works. We'll find out in the future, but hopefully we don't need to find out and everything runs perfectly smooth and happy-go-lucky. Coming off out from the sub panel, this here is wall one which does, really doesn't have a whole lot of receptacles on it. Uh, basically has the incubator, has the carpets on it, and that's really it for right now. Um, that'll end up getting, this, this wall is eventually going to get knocked down because we're going to expand the snake room to the other half of the basement as well. So it's legit going to be half of the basement will be the snake room. So, it's going to get a lot bigger and that wall is going to go and it's, it's going to be awesome when it's done. Wall two is this wall here, 
which at the moment just has 50 uh, 20 rack and the uh, 55 40 rack granted they're not full yet but you know I, I kind of do things a little backwards slightly with the uh, with the uh, racks as far as they go by just ordering x amount of tiers for x rack and y rack and all that stuff just so that way everything grows up as i need it wall three is this one which has the most receptacles and uh this is the one that everybody normally gets to see which is solely basically just a hatchling rack and it does have this here which Originally, here's why I have all these racks. Originally, this whole room was supposed to have be done with the TGR style racks. Now, I don't know if anybody knew, but during COVID, TGR went out of business. Or I should say that TGR didn't go out of business, the rack department went out of business, put it that way. So I had to find a different rack system because originally, you know, in my way of thinking, I want to have more receptacles than what I technically needed to begin with, especially since I was going to be having more a whole bunch of these as opposed to one big giant rack system. So I want to make sure I had enough. Uh, I figured I was going to have a whole bunch of uh, thermostats running, so I figured I needed a lot more receptacles. Which now, as you can see, I have way more receptacles than what I need, and everything here you know of course this goes to the thermostat and all the power strips there those are all plugged into the thermostat which uh, that's kind of simple and easy you know common sense type of deal but obviously running these big giant ars racks like this I don't need nearly the amount of receptacles that I was gonna need with running the TGR racks. So that's why I have so many receptacles, everybody. I, I planned for one thing and my design was planned for one thing. And as we you know, went through and started getting this thing into its final stages, I never changed the original design because I thought, you know, what happens if I have a rack sitting somewhere where you know, I, I wanted to be able to choose, be able to put anything anywhere and have a receptacle there. Now, when I do the new addition, there's not going to be as many receptacles. It's going to be kind of night and day. I'm definitely going to limit and calm down on the receptacles on the other half. And I'll just kind of plan accordingly as to which portion of the snake room has what in it. So that way, if I need stuff more, if I need things running with more receptacles, I'll stick it in the original snake room. If I don't, I'll stick it in the other section over there. So, all right. Now, we got wall one, we got two, we got three. Wall four is solely just this little bit, which even though it's a tiny wall, still has four receptacles and a light switch. <laughs> now, everything on top of it, every wall starts off with a... a, a ground fault uh, receptacle. Every single one of them starts off with it. I'll come over here and show you. Every single wall. So the electrical, the electric actually runs like to wall one. There's the uh, GFCI for that one. But it starts there. And then flows, you know, we have everything wired to all the other receptacles. And then this is the last receptacle here for this wall. Same thing goes for over here. Ran the wire for this, for wall two, with wall, uh, through wall one, started here, zigzagged it all up and down, and ended down there. There we go. And then for wall three we actually went and that wire actually kind of lays right up on top above the uh it's tied but or not tied but stapled 
uh, up above, but it goes up through the uh, ceiling here, drops down to here, and then boom, down to that one, and then it just zigzags up and down until it ends up over there. And then for wall four, which only has four receptacles in the light switch, everything comes from where it did out at the uh, sub panel, comes out with uh, the wires for, well, all the wires, follows up along here, and then drops down. One wire comes to the light switch, and then there's a, should be a hole somewhere around here that feeds to this and then zigzags down just from here down over and then up i do apologize for the really jerky filming i am definitely not used to this style of filming but that's how everything's run on this um it's very very simple uh i had my cousin help me you know do all the wiring I, because he's an electrician but it was super simple. Like everybody always says, you know, it, it is overkill. I'm not going to lie. You do not need this many receptacles in your snake room in this small of an area. You really don't. But I'd rather have too many than not enough. Uh, that's just my, you know, better to need it or better to not need it and have it than need it and not have it. And especially with receptacles, it's not, you know, while you have the walls opened up, you want to get them there. And you don't want to have to try to do anything like that as when the drywall's all up, everything's painted. So that's basically it. I know uh, Kai from Lucas Lane and Royals actually came, said a, mentioned an idea about with your receptacles about actually putting them in the ceiling. Um, granted, with drop ceiling, you really I don't think you can really do that. Now, if it's a drywall ceiling, you could. But there's a reason I went with the drop ceiling. And that's because if you see out through there, which that's going to have to get moved at some point, I have that's our water system. That's the pressure tank, the water softener, all that stuff. Those pipes run basically up through here, over to here, which is actually the sink is right up above this. And so the pipes shoot up and then the pipes shoot over and across the wall to feed the, uh, the rest of the house. So that's why I couldn't do the, uh, I, or that's why I didn't want to do the uh, receptacles up in the wall. It was, or up in the ceiling, sorry. It's a great idea. I never thought of it to begin with, but after he had said about it, I thought it's like, you know, why didn't I think of that? And then it dawned on me like basically smacked me right in the face as far as why I didn't even think about it. And that was because water and electricity does not mix. <laughs> so needless to say, you know, I, that's, you know, I have two levels of receptacles. I forget the height of them. I could actually get a tape, I guess, and measure it. Um, but if anybody has questions as far as the heights that I put them at, just shoot me a message and I'll let you know. But that's basically it. I hope this video helped anybody that's thinking about an electrical layout. Um, maybe I didn't go into enough specifics. I just kind of, I didn't exactly know what to mention about with these recept, you know, with the receptacles and all that stuff, or the exact electrical layout. But I gave it a shot anyway. Oh, and the lights, the lights. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. The wire comes for the lights, hits this one, zigzags over to there, and then down to there, and then over and ends at that one there. Um, I actually probably should have, I wanted, or see, now this is where how OCD I am. I wanted to have, because I got a thing of six lights, I only used four. Because of how this room is, and because of, that stinking thing having to be there because that's where my uh because that's where my uh sump pump is sorry i couldn't like i couldn't make it symmetrical i guess is the right way to put it so i really would have liked to have had like 
a set of lights here in the middle and then you know the two at the entrance and then two all the way farther back there now granted it's probably good that i did it the way i did because with when the racks get up to full height they'll be basically up in ceiling and if i would have put lights in the corner you know basically in the middle of these last tiles the, the racks would have soaked up all the light i really wouldn't have gotten any light from it so it's probably a good thing that i did it the way i did but yeah so if anybody has any questions let me know um i do have pictures i actually have pictures of the snake room you know in different stages of it being built in another video i'll actually include the link to it probably i forget which corner pops up in this corner that corner i'll put it in a corner um so that way if you want to see like the slideshow of this snake room being built and you can actually see how the wires really are granted not gonna lie some of the pictures that might that are in there might show the wires not being stapled i do tell i will tell you that everything is secured and up to code and all that fancy stuff so uh yeah hope this video helped make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell hit that like button leave me a comment down below let me know if you like this video let me know if you want to see more of this not on a tripod walking around type style uh, it's totally different it's kind of actually neat i think but it is a lot different than what i'm used to and if you guys enjoyed it and like i said let me know if you want to if you have any questions about my layout exactly that i didn't go over drop them in the comments hit me up on instagram you know message me email me whatever let me know and i'll get back to you and let and try to answer your questions and everything that you have so thanks everybody take it easy and we'll catch you next time later.